So I want to talk to you about how to do three important basic exercises that can go wrong uh, pretty easily unless you know the right technique. So we're going to go through squats, lunges and plank uh, and then you're able to do the workouts a bit better. Um, perfect. Okay, squats, right? Everyone's squat stance is slightly different. So depending on if you feel any pain in your body, we don't want pain in your hips when you squat down. The idea is to push your heels down when you squat. Just adjust somehow. So your squat stance, you're pushing down your heels and coming up squeezing your bum. So you push the weight down in your heels, squeeze your bum coming up. If you notice when you go down, the weight starts teetering in your toes, don't go as low. You stay here until you start developing more strength in your glutes to be able to go a bit lower and a bit lower and then low all the way down, squeezing the bum as you come up. So your stance, you may find that your fit toes are straightforward when you squat down. You may find that they need to turn slightly out in the direction of your knees. Depends on if you feel knee pain when you squat down. If you do, just readjust. Generally, we do a normal squat is about hip distance apart, unless I tell you to do a wide leg squat or a sumo squat, and that would be a lot wider and you'll find that you, can't, you can, can't go as low. So they're the basics of a squat. Practice them, pause this video, and I'm gonna talk about lunges now. So lunges, body weight lunge, simple static lunge, really good for your glutes and your thighs. I love them because you really feel the burn in your bum. But people get them wrong often because they have weak glutes, so they find that they lean forward in their lunge. So a lunge, normal forward static lunge, forward and you drop the knee, come up, pushing off from that foot, mainly from your front heel, not to your toes. People who have got weak glutes find that they lunge forward, they've got weak glutes, bad posture or bad core. They lean forward in their lunge, but we want to remain upright, just drop the knee and push off. Same with the reverse lunge, slightly easier for people. Back, drop the knee, come up. Back, drop the knee, come up. And you can put your hands on your hips if that works for you. Generally, this is a static lunge. The lower your knee goes, the more you're gonna feel it in your glutes, the more intense. Push off from that front foot, heel, and back. Drop, and back. Lunges. So, pause that, have a practice. Now, plank. Plank, really good all over core exercise. Most people get it wrong because they use their hip flexors rather than their abs. Now let's talk about how to do the plank. So generally you go on your forearms. This is a plank that people get into. I want you to pivot your pelvis down. So you'll find that you're a little lower, you're squeezing your bum, your back's a little arched. This is how you contract your abs rather than this. So practice, go into a normal plank that you would do and then pivot your pelvis down Test both and notice if you feel it. So my stomach's shaking now. If you find your lower back's aching, squeeze your glutes more, keep your core more tight. If your lower back is aching, it means that we need to strengthen your core more. And you can always try the plank on your knees first to progress, to strengthen your core to then stop your lower back aching. The more you squeeze your bum and tighten your core, the less pain you'll feel in your lower back. 
Imagine the tightening of your core when people say that to you or when I say that to you. Um, it's like someone's about to punch you in the stomach and you're bracing. So that's how I want you to be during all exercises really, um, especially in a plank. So you're tensing it, contracting, bracing, and then you're getting into your plank, pelvis down. So practice your plank and then notice when you pivot your pelvis down, how you feel it more in your tummy.